Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 51 on EM circuit co simulations in ADS. In this tutorial, we will look at basics of EM circuit co simulation, layout component, symbol size, and various options, and also selecting proper view for simulation for two types of problems as demonstrated on this slide. We will look at one example on antenna co simulation and another with a typical RF microwave application. Now before we start, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell icon to enable all the notifications. And after you watch the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in watching similar tutorial. All right, let's get started and understand each of these topics so that you can be fully comfortable running these kind of analysis in ADS. So for the first example, I have a simple patch antenna and I'll you know, set up here in ADS layout. And for the regular EM simulation, I already have covered um, you know, how to perform momentum and FEM in the previous videos. Now, whenever you want to perform a core simulation, there is two extra steps which you need to do. And the first one is you go to models and you save the EM model when you launch the simulation, which will basically contain the results of your EM analysis depending upon how many ports you have. So the entire S matrix kind of data will be contained in that model. The second step is to create a symbol so that you can represent this layout in another schematic design to integrate it with the rest of the circuit components. So by clicking on this option, if you only have the layout view in your design, like in my case of antenna, you will directly get the symbol generator dialog where you can pick lookalike component and the view from where you are generating the symbol is of layout, of course. And then you can decide the symbol view, uh, you know, size by using the scaling factor. But in a typical single antenna or single element antenna case, it really doesn't make uh, too much of a difference. But we will come to this when we talk about a traditional PCB board, which has more than one port. So here I will go ahead and just accept, you know, scaling factor of one. And this is the symbol which gets created. Notice uh, the simulation port which we had or the pin which we had in our layout will appear also in the symbol. And this will be the connection point which will be available to you in the in the main window of ADS for you to uh, to drag and drop and then make connection around it. Now, once this is done, you can go ahead and simulate uh, your um, layout design. And at the back end, what will happen, your EM model uh, will get generated as you can see here, which is the container. And you will have some intermediate EM result. Now here you can see I have an antenna, but that's pretty not uh, very well tuned. Now I would like to perform a tuning of or impedance matching of this antenna. And for that purpose, I can go ahead and create a schematic like I have done here already. Under this schematic, I have placed a couple of components now for the impedance matching application. And now I can simply drag and drop this symbol, which we just created for antenna, over to this schematic. And now you can notice it had one pin, and that's where we made the connection. Now using the regular circuit simulation techniques, you can go ahead and perform the simulation. This uh, circuit analysis behind the scene will pull the EM data from the EM model container, which we just created. And then you will have the combined result uh, for you to check. Now, if you want to optimize or tune the circuit components which you have, you can go ahead and do that. If you had created a parametric layout, you can also perform optimization on your layout. So you can co-simulate as well as co-optimize your design, whether you are tuning or optimizing circuit elements or the layout. So this is example number one. Now let's look at the second variety of this example, which will be typically done by RF circuit designers. Uh, if they are doing any you know, passive network design, such as filter, power divider, or even active design such as amplifier, mixer, and so on. So for that example, I do have a very simple low pass filter schematic. Here you can see I have three uh, inductors and two capacitors, which have been optimized to produce a certain goal. 
and when I run this circuit analysis only, you can see the, the response from the filter. They're pretty nice and clean as you would expect from an ideal component. And we are meeting all the specification uh, which are shown by these mask line here. So all good for the circuit design part. Now as a next step, an RF microwave guy will typically go and perform the layout design. And here is a very simple layout uh, with some interconnecting lines and the component pads where we would like to mount inductor and capacitor. And we have placed the pins uh, at the required location where we want to do connections later. Now next step is obviously to go and set up uh, the simulation of your choice, whether to use momentum or FEM, uh, doesn't matter, the choice is up to designer. And again, we will go ahead and create EM model. And now here, the difference is when we click on uh, the symbol generation, it will ask you to select the source view and by default, it has a schematic. But remember, we are trying to generate symbol for our layout design, so we will switch it to layout and we will select layout lookalike symbol. Now to control the size of the symbol which gets generated, you can select options from here. For example, minimum distance between pins, that means it will look at uh, the minimum distance between two pins in your layout, and that size will be scaled to a factor of one in the schematic, and one here typically means one inch. Uh, roughly, which is the default component size. But you can make it uh, bigger or smaller depending upon uh, you know how big or how small symbol you eventually would like to see. So in my case, I'm just going ahead with scale factor of one. And this is the resulting symbol, which you can see is the exact copy of your layout. And you have the connection pins at the location where we placed pins in the layout. All right, so rest of the process is pretty straightforward. We go to you know simulate option. We go ahead and simulate um, to generate the EM model, which is basically going to be container for our you know multiple ports which we have in this design. And once that is completed, you will see a result which does not make any sense right now because it's all open circuited. So to get a full sense, we need to place uh, this model into our schematic design and that's what we are going to do next. Here is our co-simulation schematic and you can see I have certain components as placeholder. I can simply drag and drop the symbol which we generated just now onto this schematic and because I already have the right sizing of the component and the placement, uh, all the connection will get done automatically but you need to you know, wire your desired components. Now, with this approach, one step which you need to take care of if your main um, you know, design cell has both a schematic view, layout view, as well as EM model view. Before you proceed for any EM core simulation, you can select the layout component, go to choose view for simulation, and make sure you select EM model. Otherwise, you will get some error when you perform analysis. So once we select the right EM model view, we can go ahead and simulate the combined result of our um, you know, EM data, which is basically the layout parasitics and the coupling effect plus the circuit elements will be shown to us. And here you can see while the insertion loss or the transmission response is largely okay, but we do have a failure in return loss at the upper band edge uh, due to the slight performance shifting uh, introduced by the layout parasitics or the coupling. All right, so that's all for this video. Hope you find the content presented here useful for your work and you will go ahead and use this capability offered by ADS in your design work with much greater ease. Thanks a lot for watching and wish you happy designing.